<clears throat> hello, hello YouTube viewers, this is Blake Phantom. Listen, whenever you whenever you feel like you're gonna cuss over something or get or get mad or get mad or aggravated over something whenever you feel like you're gonna you you're gonna say do or think about something that you shouldn't whenever you feel like you want to say do or think about something that you shouldn't say satan i bind you and i command you to leave me alone and i rebuke you in 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 jesus name because YouTube viewers listen I will confess I am a cr Christian but we do not always act like Christians should I have cussed I have thought about naked women I have thought about sex I have thought about all kinds of other per perversions but just because I have thought or talked about those things more than I should, a lot more than I should, that that does not mean that you are not a Christian once you have asked the Lord into your heart and life. Once you have asked him into your heart and life, once you have asked him to be your Lord and Savior, you are saved. You are going to heaven no matter what. But we have got to. We have got to. Set aside at least an hour and a half every day. When we tell our friends and loved ones. During this hour and a half every day. Or, or di during, this, during this certain time every day. I do not, I do not want you to call. I do not want you to text. I do not want you to visit me. I do not want you to talk to me. I do not want you to tell me to do anything during this hour and a half or during this certain time period that you choose. Say during this time every day that I have chosen, I do not want your company unless it is a life or death emergency. I realize that I have cussed Say, I realize that I have done things and said things that I shouldn't have done or, or said. But just because I have done those things does not mean that I am not a cr Christian. Say, the Bible says, The Lord will never leave me or forsake me. But say, I have got to have some time alone without people wanting my company. I've got to have some time alone every day to read my Bible and pray about my own personal problems, faults, weaknesses, thoughts, desires, and bad habits. So say to your family and loved ones during this time every day, please do not bother me unless it is a, unless it is a life or death emergency. And YouTube viewers, if you are worried that they could bother you, if you have a cordless phone in one room, take it, take it to another room. If, if you have a cell phone, just do this. Turn on Do Not Disturb. Okay, I turned on Do Not Disturb. Just turn on d Do Not Disturb disturb but before you start praying and reading your bible and when it, whenever you talk to, 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 to your family or friends when you're d done talking to them and they say call or text or visit anytime here's what you say you say you you call text or visit me anytime too except during my daily prayer time say to them you call text or visit anytime too except 
during my daily prayer time. That way then they will know during that time every day that you do not want their company or anyone else's company for that matter too. But during that time, I mean, before that time, get get done whatever you need to get done, done right then, get done whatever you need to get done quickly, or whatever someone wants wants you to do, get done, get done get done whatever someone may want you to do before that time. But once you get that done. Before you start your daily private prayer time, tell them, Now, I've done all that you want me to do. Now, leave me alone. This is my time alone. This is my time alone when I do not want company unless unless it is a life or death emergency. And if they don't respect you, your privacy, then I recommend during your daily private private prayer time, pray that they will. Pray that they will. But also, during that time every day, you need, it, if, if you have a cussing habit, if you have a cussing habit like I have been known to have, pray that, that you will stop cussing. During, during that time, pray that you will stop cussing. Pray that you will stop thinking in appropriate thoughts about anyone. Pray that you will stop thinking in appropriate thoughts about anyone like sex or naked women like I have done YouTube viewers the Lord loves you so much that he sent Jesus to die for you and me both he sent Jesus to die for you and I both. And he is merciful. He will forgive you and I of all that we have said, done, or thought against his will. He will forgive us for all of our, our sins and problems and tr transgressions. But we have got to repent. We have got to confess what we have done. We have got to come, come forward. And admit that we have done wrong and and if you have not done this already if you have not done this already you have you have got to ask Jesus in your heart and life you have got to ask Jesus in your heart and life if you have not done that I have done several videos that show you how to do that please go back and watch my video titled Alter call A L T E R space C A L L or come to Jesus. Watch one of those two videos. Alter call or come to Jesus. One of those two. They're, they are two separate videos. Watch either of them. Thank you. But anyway, we have got to confess our sins and ask Him into our heart and life. And we have got to set a half an hour at least aside alone with him and pray about all our problems, secrets, and fears, and bad habits. If we don't, we will not set a good example for others. I will, I will be the first to confess that I have, not all, I have not been, I have not always set the type of example that Christians should set. I have not always set the example that, that, that Christians should set. I have been known to cuss and sin and, and think about sex and naked women, but who hasn't said or done or thought things like that? And, and I blame half of those thoughts on testosterone, and I blame half of them on the devil. But we have got to pray and give the Lord control over all our problems, sorrows, and weaknesses. Sin and sexual thoughts 
and cussing and getting mad easily and aggravated and irritated easily, those are some of my biggest weaknesses. I am a very impatient man. I am a very impatient man. I do not like waiting at all. I, I cannot stand waiting, waiting for something to come or end very long. I'm a very impatient man when it comes to that. But as as sinful as I have been, and as sinful as I as as sinful as I have talked and acted during my 23 years on on this earth, I will be 23 years old on November 16th. 2018 and uh, what's today's date it's Monday October 22nd 2018 it's Monday October 22nd 2018 but that's but that's beside the point during my 23 years of life on this earth I have sinned I have cussed I have acted and done things foolishly But as sinful and as vulgar as I have talked, thought, and acted, the Lord has forgiven me. The Lord has forgiven me. He has been merciful to me. But I need to be more merciful than I am to others. And, and I, I know that you do too. But please keep that in mind. None of us is perfect. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.